Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Estoy bien, ¿cómo estás tú? Ah, ¿Cómo estás? Yo estoy bien también. Muy bien. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Children's Spanish for Brookline. I hope Brookline is doing well. We're super excited that you've stuck with us this far. If you haven't and this is your first class, no worries. We're doing a lot of review on purpose. Um, you're going to repeat after me here uh, as we do our quick review. Um, if you have watched us since the beginning or go back and found our um, um, episodes, uh, my name is Senor Eduardo, and I'm here with... Senorita Erika. Muy bien. Hola, hola. Bueno, and we are... Uh, from Rola Languages. We're a language institute located in Cambridge, um, and we're super excited to be collaborating with Brookline Interactive. And we are taking you through our children's curriculum that we use with uh, our ch children's classes, both in our offices in Cambridge and after school programs that we administer around uh, New England. So super excited. You can get more information at www.rolalang.com. And I'm going to do a quick review. So repeat after me at home. I'll take this one, Erika. So alfabeto A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. We also learned the days of the week, the days of the week. So repeat after me, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, and domingo. We also learned the months of the year. We have enero, febrero, marzo, abril, mayo, junio, julio, agosto, septiembre, Octubre, Noviembre, and Diciembre. And we sang a little bit last week, so I'll sing my song. We, it's a very, it's a light, easy song. So, Enero, Febrero, Marzo, Abril, Mayo, Junio, Julio, Agosto, Septiembre, Octubre, Noviembre, Diciembre. Estos son los doce meses del año. Estos son los doce meses del año. And then Señorita had a song, and I'm not going to try it. Go for it. Okay, yes. My song has words, but also some dance motion. So we'll do that together. Hopefully you saw the video last week, so you can jump right in with us. So it goes, Enero, Febrero, Marzo, Abril, Mayo, Junio, Julio, Agosto, Septiembre, Octubre, Noviembre, Diciembre, Doce Meses Son. Okay, muy bien. And then... What we also did um, uh, was the numbers one through 10. So you should be able to do those numbers one through 10. So we have uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Okay, so we can do it backwards. Diez, nueve, ocho, siete, siete, seis, cinco, cuatro, Tres, dos, and uno. Okay, so uh, those are the numbers one through ten. Okay, so one more time, Senor Erika, why don't you say those for me very quickly? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Okay, fantástico. Um, Okay, very good. So we're going to move on and we're going to learn some more vocabulary, but we're going to do one more review. Um, and as I said last week, for those of you who watched us last week, you can learn and practice in different ways. And so one way we're going to do it is through our little workbook here. And in the left-hand column under repaso, which means review, we just have from English to Spanish, English to Spanish. Now, let's do backwards, Erica, to spice it up a little bit. So, 
Let's start down here. So, ¿cómo se dice diciembre en español? En inglés. Ah, perdón, en español. <laughs> ah, oh, 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 no, no, stop. Ah, oh, 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 oh. ¿Cómo se dice December en español? Mm -hmm. Diciembre, diciembre. Okay, how do you say November en español? Noviembre. ¿Cómo se dice October en español? Octubre. Fantastic. Okay, September en español? Septiembre. August en español. Agosto. July en español. Julio. June en español. Junio. May en español. Mayo. April en español. Abril. March en español. Marzo. February. Febrero. January. Enero. Sunday. <laughs> Domingo. Yep. Saturday. Sábado. Friday. Viernes. Thursday. Jueves. Wednesday. Miércoles. Very good, guys. Keep trying at home. I know we're moving fast, but we're doing it on purpose. Tuesday. Martes. And Monday. Lunes. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to say all of these by myself very quickly in Spanish. So we have lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. That's what you should practice at home. So it's right, right below and try to read it. You can pause this if you can and then practice it. Write them out in that order and just keep saying them, right? Um, then we have enero, febrero, marzo, abril, mayo, junio, julio, agosto, septiembre, agosto, septiembre, septiembre octubre, octubre, noviembre, and diciembre, everybody, okay? So um, that's what your homework is. Write these all out. Trying to practice them like we did here from English to Spanish, also from Spanish to English. Um, and then you can practice at home with spelling. We practice spelling all of these in the last few classes. So today we're going to learn about animals, los animales, los animales. So yo tengo algunos animales en mi casa, pero primero nosotros vamos a leer esto. So yo voy a leer primero, señorita Erika, y luego tú vas a leer después para que los estudiantes puedan escuchar un poco mejor uh, diferentes voces en español. So los animales. So uh, todos en casa van a escuchar. OK, muy bien. Perro y sus amigos. Hola, amigos. Yo soy un perro y mi color es marrón. Y estos son mis amigos. El caballo, el león y la vaca. Ellos son geniales y quiero jugar con ellos. Venga a conocerlos. Señorita Erika. Mm -hmm. Hola, amigos. Yo soy un perro y mi color es marrón. Y estos son mis amigos. El caballo, el león y y la vaca. Ellos son geniales y quiero jugar con ellos. Venga a conocerlos. Very good. So let's break this down. Um, I'm not going to give you all of the words because we're going to learn and then we'll come back and review. So hola amigos. Hola. We know hola Erika. Hola Eduardo. Okay. And amigos obviously is what? Friends. Friends. Amigos. Um, I'm going to point to this here. So he says, yo soy, I am, un perro. Repeat after me, Erika, un perro. Un perro. Muy bien. Then he goes on here, el caballo, el león, and la vaca. These are his friends down here. So we have el caballo. El caballo. El león. El león. And la vaca. La vaca. Muy bien. So el perro. El perro. El caballo. El caballo. El león. El león. Perdón. Uh, um, and la vaca. La vaca. Muy bien. So those are animals. El perro is the dog. 
el caballo, the horse, based on our pictures, el león, león, the lion, and la vaca is the cow. And we're going to have Senorita Erika break all of that down for us. Another thing here that I want you guys to see is the color. You, now, now, you can find the word color because it's the same in English as it is in Spanish. So you have color in the second line. So yo soy un perro and my color is marrón. So Senorita Erika, ¿qué crees que es marrón en inglés? Marrón. Mm -hmm. Marrón is the color brown. Brown, marrón, right? Marrón, we'll say it's marrón-ish. Marrón. Um, muy bien. So, el perro es marrón. So, yo soy is I am. And the color. What about el caballo, right? I said it's also marrón to an extent. Mm -hmm. Basic, mm -hmm. right? A little, little slightly different. Okay. And then it says, quiero jugar. Yo quiero jugar. What does yo quiero mean? Quiero means... I want. I want. And jugar? To play. Okay. ¿Tú quieres jugar? Sí, yo quiero jugar. Yo quiero jugar. Muy bien. So, yo soy, I am, and yo quiero, I want. And in this case, is I want to play. So, we're not going to get into too much more of this until we come back and we learn some vocabulary. And then we'll come back and you should be able to understand most of this. So, Vamos a, Senorita Erika, I'm going to turn this over to you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk a little bit about los animales. We're going to learn the words. We're going to learn the words. And we're also going to then learn how to spell them. And then we have yo soy is I am. Yo quiero is I want. You might want one, some of these animals in the form of a peluche, which is a like a, a stuffed yeah. animal. Yeah. Or you might have some of these. You might have some of these, but always the first step of learning language is vocabulario. And this is Los Animales. And Senorita Erika, take it away. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to learn some of these animales together, these animals. So, Senor Eduardo, can you? Yes, perfect. Perfecto. Yeah. All right. So we've learned some, a couple of these already from our story that we just read. Uh, so you like the first one, which you can say after me, perro. Perro, perro, we just learned this one in the story from the last page, which is the dog, right? Perro, this is an animal maybe a lot of you have at home, the perro. Now, after perro, the next animal we have here is the cat, or in Spanish, gato. So say it with me, gato, gato, that's for cat. So we know perro and we know gato, cat and dog. Okay, let's keep going because there's many more animals to learn. Next one we have is the bird. Bird in Spanish is pájaro. Pájaro. Muy bien. So we have perro, gato, and pájaro. We know three animals already. We keep going down. This is the next one. We'll see that we um, might remember from the story that we just read. This animal also appeared in that story. This is the horse, or in Spanish, caballo. Caballo. And the next one, even after that, another one from our story. So in the story, we had the perro, the dog, the caballo, the horse. And now we have the cow, which in Spanish is vaca. So we just learned this one. So it should hopefully sound a little familiar to your ears. Vaca. Vaca. Next one we have is the little, the little mouse, which in Spanish is raton. Raton. That's mouse. Next we have for the chicken or the, the hen, the the girl chicken is the gallina, gallina, muy bien. Next we have the monkey, or in Spanish, mono, mono. After the monkey or the mono, we have a pig. Pig in Spanish is cerdo, cerdo. Next, after the cerdo, we have elephant. This one should be pretty easy to learn because it sounds really close to the English word. And for elephant in Spanish, it's elefante. Elefante. After elefante, we have two more animals to go. And these ones also both sound really close to the word that maybe you know in English. So this would be a little easier for you to learn because they sound pretty familiar already. So for giraffe in Spanish, it's jirafa. Jirafa. And the last one we have here is the lion, or in Spanish, león. León. Muy bien. Let's go through all these one more time. So you say them with me at home. 
And Senor Eduardo, you can repeat after me too. <laughs> All right, so we have perro. Perro. Gato. Gato. Pájaro. Pájaro. Caballo. Caballo. Vaca. Vaca. Ratón. Ratón. Gallina. Gallina. Mono. Mono. Cerdo. Cerdo. Elefante. Elefante. Jirafa. Jirafa. León. León. Muy bien. And before we go on to our next activity, I have one game I, that I think you can play at home that would be really fun. So, And you can play this with your family members. You can play with your friends. You can play who, whoever's in your house. So this game is to help us learn the animals. And so the way it works is you have one person who's the zookeeper, okay? This person is in, in charge of the game. And then everyone else is playing it in the zoo. So what the zookeeper will do is they will say an animal in Spanish. And then everyone else who's playing the game has to act out that animal. So you have to you can make the sounds, you can make the motions. So of course you have to make sure that if we're pay, playing this, we're playing it in a safe way. So it means that no running around, so you should use your walking feet. And also if you're probably playing inside your house, that means that you also need to use your inside voice. So no yelling while you play this game. But uh, apart from that, you can really have fun to act out these animals and make the sounds, make the movements. You can, and that, these will really help you to learn the words too in Spanish, and it's a fun way to learn. So this is a game that I like to play with my Spanish classes all the time, where we have someone who's the zookeeper, and they say different animals in Spanish, and then everyone else gets to play and act it out. Okay, so let's practice it. I'll be the zookeeper. Cerdo. Okay. <laughs> Jirafa. Okay. Leon. <laughs> Arr. Oh, no, that was more like a bear. <laughs> okay. Roar. Roar. Yes. Uh, caballa. Caballo. Okay. Perro. Okay. Vaca. Ooh. Mono. Good job. And let's do pájaro. Tweet, 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 tweet. Okay, muy bien. <laughs> zookeeper, zookeeper with the animales, los animales. Muy bien. Okay, Senorita Erika, let's go with, um, let's do like a couple of spelling ones, but I want them, you know, to focus on like now making little short sentences after that. So um, mm -hmm. how would we spell, como se deletrea, I'm also going to pick one, gallina. Mm -hmm. Gallina. So gallina is G-A-L-L-I-N-A. Muy bien, gallina. Como se deletrea león. Leon. Leon. Leon, and you can try spelling this with me at home too. L E O N. Muy bien. ¿Cómo se deletrea perro? Mm, perro. P E R R O. Muy bien. And then another one is ¿Cómo se deletrea caballo? Mm, caballo. C A B A L, L, O. Muy bien. So everybody at home, I think we may have said this before, but there are some good examples here for you to remember, especially you older kids. Um, so the double R in Spanish is what sound, Erika? <laughs> You're making a vibration. Perro, right? Perro. And it's a little bit longer than perro, right? Perro. Or Erika. It's not Erika. Erika, right? But two R's, you make this sound a little bit. Ask your mom and dad, because I bet you they have some funny stories <laughs> about trying to say perro or R in Spanish. The other thing that you see here is if you look at horse and if you look at chicken, you have double two L sounds. So, Erika, what happens in, with those double L's? Mm -hmm. Right. So when we see the double L, it actually makes a Y sound, so like a Y in English. So that's why we say caballo and gallina. So it's, it's a little bit different. When we see one L, we say it just like L. But if we see two L's, then we should say it like Y. So caballo and gallina. Perfect. So double L and uh, it makes the Y sound. Okay. Muy bien. Perfecto. So vamos, señorita Erika. Let's do some simple sentences. So everybody... This is going to be fun for you because these might be some of your first sentences that you're going to form. I know we've given you some at the beginning, but to form together. Vamos. 
Okay. Well, so for for example, um, we we learned how to say yo quiero from our story, which is say I want. So this is how we can use to say the animals that you want to have as pets. So for example, if you want to say I want a dog, you can say yo quiero un perro. Mm -hmm. Yo quiero un perro. I want a dog. Okay, so these are the pets that you want. I want. Yo quiero. But maybe if there's an animal that you don't want to have as a pet, like for example, for me, I don't think I really want to have a lion as a pet. I think it's going to maybe be a little too scary, a little too dangerous. So I can say, I don't want a lion. Yo no quiero un león. Okay, so I want Yo quiero, I don't want, yo no quiero. So you can think about for yourself, what kind of pets do you want to have? What kind of pets do you not want to have? So you can make all kinds of sentences. So like, yo quiero un perro, yo quiero un gato, I want a cat, I want a dog. But yo no quiero una vaca, I don't really want a cow for a pet. So I don't want a cow. Or yo no quiero un elefante, I don't want an elephant for a pet. Okay, so yo quiero and yo no quiero. I do want, I don't want. Okay, so let's practice with that. So, señorita Erika, tú vas a traducir por mí, por favor. Mm -hmm. I want a mouse. Mm -hmm. Yo quiero un ratón. Okay, I want a pig. Yo quiero un cerdo. I don't want a giraffe. Yo no quiero una jirafa. I want a dog. Yo quiero un perro. Mm -hmm. I want a bird. Yo quiero un pájaro. Yo, uh, I don't want a cow. <laughs> Yo no quiero una vaca. Muy bien. Now you do Spanish, I'll do English. Ooh, okay. Okay. So from Spanish, yo quiero un cerdo. I want a pig. Yo no quiero un perro. I don't want a dog. Yo quiero un caballo. I want a horse. Yo quiero un mono. I want a monkey. <laughs> Yo no quiero un león. I don't want a lion. Okay, muy bien. So another one is that we can use when you're playing your zookeeper game is I am. I am. Yo soy. So... You've seen this before, probably, as we were giving you some, some examples. But yo soy, yo means I, and soy is am. So if you want to play a little game of what are you, you can say I am an elephant. Yo soy un elefante. I am not a cow. Yo no soy, right, una vaca. Okay, Erika, I am a dog. Yo soy un perro. All right, so maybe for Halloween you can say, I am a mouse. Yo soy un ratón. You might say, I am a lion. Yo soy un león. Muy bien. So now you have two way, two little phrases or sentences that you can put together. Yo soy, yo no soy, four actually. Yo soy and yo no soy is I am or I am not. And then, señorita Erika, you have... Yo quiero and yo no quiero. We just changed the banner. Yo quiero and yo no quiero. And then you can use all of these um, words. So, muy bien. So, let's move over to the exercise on the right here. And tell me, I'm going to say, ¿Qué es esto? What is this? ¿Qué es esto? And let me see. Make sure it doesn't go in order. Okay, yeah. I just want to make sure it doesn't go in order. So, señorita Erika, ¿Qué es esto? Un perro. Un perro. ¿Qué es esto? Es un gato. Un gato. ¿Qué es esto? Es un mono. Everybody, good job. So you guys can pair up the words and the pictures as well from going this way, right? If you want to as a quick little exercise. ¿Qué es esto? Es una jirafa. Una jirafa. ¿Qué es esto? Es un pájaro. Un pájaro. Pájaro, right? Don't be too specific because you just know the word <laughs> bird. ¿Qué es esto? Es una vaca. Una vaca. ¿Qué es esto? Es una gallina. Una gallina. ¿Qué es esto? Es un cerdo. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es esto? We learned it at the story with the story. Mm -hmm. Es un caballo. Un caballo. ¿Qué es esto? 
Es un león. Un león, right? ¿Qué es esto? Es un elefante. Es un elefante or un elefante, right? An elephant. ¿Qué es esto? Es un ratón. Muy bien. Es un ratón, right? So you can match them or you can write them. I would prefer you do both, right? Because that's a more practice. So I'm going to say these words one more time. Um, Señorita Erika, you can repeat after me, and that's how we'll finish. Um, and then next week we'll do another review, and then we'll move on, and then we'll go back to that story because I want to see if you know more words, right? So perro. Perro. Gato. Gato. Pájaro. Pájaro. Caballo. Caballo. Vaca. Vaca. Sorry. Um, ratón. Ratón. Gallina. Gallina. Mono. Mono. Cerdo. Cerdo. Elefante. Elefante. Jirafa. Jirafa. And león. 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 Muy bien, everybody. So for homework, memorize and practice those. Those are great words to uh, have. Any tips, señorita Erika? Play the zookeeper game. Play the zookeeper game, everybody. Play the zookeeper game. So with that, muchísimas gracias. Nos vemos la semana próxima. Adiós, Erika. Adiós, Eduardo.